on the ever-changing Republican race for president. So who's got the edge? Is it Romney? Is it Gingrich? We'll be joined by political analyst Tom Serafin after a break. We are joined right now by political analyst Tom Serafin here to break down the latest on the uh, Republican presidential race. And of course, we want to talk about Newt Gingrich. You know, at one time his campaign was on the brink of collapse. Now he's bounced back, it appears. So right. how do you think he pulled it off? Was it that some uh, one person, specifically Kane, dropped out of the race? Or have other people made mistakes and allowed this to happen? Or is he that strong? Well, he's, I think he's that strong on message. And he coalesced the Tea Party section of the uh, Republican Party. Mm -hmm. And he's also showing in latest polls that 50% of the independents or more moderate Republicans are now leading his way. Mm -hmm. And most of those were usually in Romney's court. Romney had the independents, the moderate Republicans in his court. The Tea Party was divided between Kane and other candidates. And when they all dropped out, they all looked for a candidate. And the guy who's the fighter, the guy who gets up there in the debates and goes off with that vitriolic language, you know, about the president and about the Democratic Congress and the and what What's not getting done in this country has been New Gingrich. And remember, he led the last revolution in 94. Uh, and people are looking for a change in Washington. 12% of the people in the country, 12%, I'd like to ask them what they think, 12% believe Congress is mm -hmm. doing a good job. 88% believe they ought to be thrown yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's very comfortable in a debate situation, yes, yes. too, and yeah. really handles himself. Yeah, he, he? He's terrific. Yeah. And yeah. most of those Tea Party uh, people that are asked in polls recently would love to see the one-on-one -on -one with the president president with Newt, believing that Newt's intellectual approach to life would probably take the take of Obama's weaknesses. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. I think the president could be a very good debater with Newt. Can we talk about the debate and yeah. that bet? Yeah, uh, the $10,000 bet. Yes, between Romney and, uh, and Perry. So do you think that that really shows that Romney is out of touch? or are No, but I'll bet you a million dollars, you know. that I mean, <laughs> uh -oh. that, that's what he should have said <laughs> yeah. because that's an outrageous number for a lot of people. Yeah. But he actually thought about it. He couldn't say $100. He couldn't say ten. He actually thought about it. 10000 was what he could afford to lose that night. Mm -hmm. and, and that disconnect with reality with a lot of people is what people are using the $10,000 for. Mm -hmm. uh, Governor Huntsman, who is an opponent in the Republican primary, has a website where you go to the $10,000 bet talking about why Romney is disconnected with Republican voters, hoping the Republicans will gravitate towards him. Uh, mm -hmm. The other side is doing the same thing. The, the Democrats are doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Remember, the president fears uh, Romney more than any other candidate in the Republican Party. That's who they don't want to win this primary. Well, and that's exactly what I was going to get to, because the president on 60 Minutes the other night said it doesn't matter who we face. Uh, the message from the Republican Party is going to be the same. But uh, truth be told, is it, is it Romney or Gingrich he'd rather face? You think it's Romney? It's all about the independent vote. And remember, the independent vote last time elected uh, President Obama. The independent vote, again, will be the deciding vote in this particular election. Republicans are going to go GOP. Democrats will go to, to the big Ds. The independents, with 40% of the electorate, independent voters, are going to gravitate. They'll make that decision. Romney's very attractive there. When I was working in Washington for a U.S. Senator, he sent me home to work on the 86 campaign. And, of course, I was enjoying Washington that time as a young person. And I said, why do I have to go home? He said, he says, Tommy, I said, I didn't get elected 60 times because I had the wrong opponent. Make sure I have the right opponent. Ah. And in this particular race, the yeah. president wants the right opponent. He wants Gingrich. Uh, he doesn't want Romney. Yeah. And so when he says he doesn't care, yeah, he does. They're working yeah. overtime. If you look at what the Democrats are doing and Axelrod are doing, yeah. they're always talking about Romney and why he's a weak individual because they don't want Romney. Right. No, Real quickly, sense. Iowa caucuses. Yeah. <clears throat> Short answer. Who does well? I think Newt probably holds on and wins, but I think Ron Paul's a dark horse and he might come in. Hmm. Uh, you know, he might he might come in second or might he even come in first. All right. Yeah. Wow. All right. And, okay. and they go with a big head of steam into New Hampshire. Right. And that's where Romney should do well. If he right. doesn't do well there, yeah. Katie, bar the door. Exactly. Uh -oh. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Merry Thanks. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah.